All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're talking about a huge shift in real estate tech, one that was really forced by some massive legal risks. It's a story about how one company, F9 Analytics, was basically backed into a corner by antitrust laws and came out with a completely new, mathematically driven way to manage revenue that might have just set a new standard for the entire industry. So let's just start with the one question that's probably on a lot of people's minds right now. Is your revenue software a liability? You know, with all the regulatory heat that's been coming down, this isn't just some hypothetical question anymore. It's a very real business risk that needs an answer, and fast. And this quote right here is where it gets really interesting. This is from a formal certification F9 Analytics actually sent to the Department of Justice. The language is incredibly bold. I mean, they're stating, under penalty of perjury, that their software was built for the sole purpose of replacing what they call legacy non-competitive software. They're not just launching a new product, they're basically drawing a line in the sand. Okay, section one, the legacy liability. To really get why this new approach is such a big deal, we have to understand the risk it was built to solve. What was it about the older systems that made them feel like a ticking time bomb for property owners? Well, at the heart of all this is a law that's been around since 1890, the Sherman Antitrust Act. Its whole job is to prevent monopolies and any kind of anti-competitive behavior. For the real estate world, the really crucial part is that it prohibits anything that even looks like it's restraining trade, like competitors seeming to coordinate on rent prices. And that's exactly where the legacy revenue management systems ran into trouble. A lot of them were designed to recommend prices by looking at or sharing competitor data. Now, from a regulator's point of view, that looks an awful lot like price fixing, even if it's totally unintentional. And just like that, the very software that was supposed to be boosting your revenue became a massive legal and financial liability. So, with a high-stakes problem like that on the table, what do you do? How do you fix it? Well, that brings us right to section two, a certified solution. This isn't just about a new feature. It's about building a system that you can actually prove is compliant. And the answer from F9 Analytics is a product called Real Accretive. What's its defining feature? It's the first revenue management product that has been formally certified to the Department of Justice as being fully compliant with the Sherman Antitrust Act. And again, this isn't just marketing speak, it's a sworn legal declaration. So how'd they do it? How did they get that compliance? Their certification letter breaks down these core principles. No price fixing, promotes fair competition, all that good stuff. But the secret sauce is really in that last bullet point. Pricing decisions are based only on public economic data and the company's own private assumptions. Competitor data is completely and very intentionally out of the picture. Now this brings us to the big question, right? How can you possibly set an optimal price without looking at what your competitors are doing? Let's get into the mechanics in section three, the pricing engine. The whole model is built on two totally separate pillars of information. First, you've got public data pulled directly from the Federal Reserve's massive economic database known as FRED. Second, you've got private data, but here's the absolute key. It is exclusively the user's own internal investment goals and assumptions. This structure completely severs that link to competitor pricing and that eliminates the risk of collusion. The result is this amazing, completely automated, mathematical workflow. The system queries the public and private data, it builds a custom demand model for the property, it uses calculus to figure out where revenue and cost are optimized, and then it solves for the single price that maximizes profit. It is pure math with zero peer-to-peer -peer data sharing. And here's the proof that this isn't just guesswork. For any pricing model to even be considered valid by the system, it has to hit an R-squared value of 75% or higher. Now, for those of us who aren't statisticians, think of it this way. R-squared measures how much of the story the model can explain. A 75% threshold means the model's predictions are tightly connected to reality. It's a mathematically validated solution. Okay, so the system is compliant. It's mathematically sound. But does it actually work any better? Does it make more money? That brings us to section four, performance through precision. Because, you know, just solving the liability problem was only half the battle. And right here, you can see the core of the performance upgrade. The old way of doing things chased something called naive market rent, which is basically a simple benchmark based on what everyone else was charging. This new approach calculates a maximized unit price. It's not about matching the market, it's about finding the one precise price that maximizes your profit based on real-time economic data and your own financial goals. And it gets this precise by using some really serious financial engineering. First, 
Every single price accounts for the time value of money, which just means it knows a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. Second, it uses some novel math to make sure the price for a new lease is perfectly balanced with a renewal offer, which creates fairness. And finally, it can precisely optimize incentives, telling you exactly how much a one-month free offer is really going to impact your bottom line. So, what happens when you put it all together? You've got certified compliance on one hand and superior mathematical performance on the other. What does that mean for the industry? Well, that brings us to our final section, the new standard. I mean, the contrast here is just night and day. The industry is moving from a potential antitrust risk to DOJ certified compliance. It's shifting from relying on risky competitor data to a safe, smart combination of public and private data. And maybe most importantly, it's evolving from the guesswork of market rent to calculating a precise profit-maximized unit price. This really isn't just an upgrade, it's a completely new paradigm. And it all leads to this one final question. For years, the industry kind of accepted that revenue management came with this hidden risk. This new approach proves that the very same mathematical precision that drives higher performance is also what guarantees compliance. So the question for every operator out there is no longer if you can have both safety and performance, but why on earth you would ever settle for anything less?